Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Paul, an international medical graduate. In today's video, I will discuss form 186 and how to submit it. This will be a series of videos where I will show how can you apply for the USMLE exams as an international medical graduate. As you know, the whole process is complex, especially for the beginners, and you have to go through a few steps before you can apply for the USMLE exam. In this video series, I am trying to make it as simple as possible so that you can easily follow these steps and apply for the USMLE exam. So if you want to apply for the exam, the first step is you have to apply for the ECFMD certification and then for the USMLE exams. In my previous video, I have shown how to get an USMLE ID and submit for the ECFMD certification. If you haven't checked those yet, please click the link in the description below. We are not done yet with the ECFMD certification application because the last step is submitting certification of identification form or commonly known as form 186. That's exactly what we are going to do today. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to my channel, like this video, share with your friends and turn on the notification bell icon so that you do not miss any of my new videos. Now let's get started. In my last video, we were at this stage, so I will continue from here. If you click on Certification of Identification Form, it will download as a PDF copy. This is the form and this is basically to confirm your identity. The first page is about the instructions. It says, Form 186 must be completed and notarized using Notary Cam. Their website is here, the blue hyperlink. It also says what you need to complete this process. You need a PDF file that we have already downloaded, a scan color image of your passport, you can see here what properties your scan should be, and a computer with a webcam. You can also check the blue hyperlink if you want to check the system requirements to complete this process. This is the actual form. You will not fill up or sign this form as you have to sign during the notary cam session. Good thing here is that you do not need to pay for the session as you already paid during the ECFMD certification application. Now what you need to do, you need to go to the notary cam website and upload form 186 and scan copy of your passport. So click this hyperlink, it will take you to notary cam website. This will pop up and click next. Now you have to create an account or if you already have an account, log in using your username and password. Once you log in, you will see instructions here. Please go through this. A photograph will be taken during the session and this picture will be placed by the notary onto form 186. Rest of the steps I already mentioned earlier, but let's discuss again. Step 1. Get your PDF copy of form 186 and color scan of your passport. Step 2. Upload these documents. Again, please do not sign and date your form 186 before uploading. You must electronically sign during the session. Step 3. Here it says you can request an appointment, but my understanding is notary cam will further verify your ID and check whether or not you have successfully uploaded your required documents. It might take one to two business days depending on their workload, but generally they are very fast. Once they verify, you will receive an email from Notary Cam mentioning your documents have been verified successfully and ready to get started. If you are ready, reply to that email, or you can also schedule an appointment with them using the link provided in the same email. Step 4. It is the face-to-face -face session. Notary will check your passport, further verify and confirm your identity. Make sure you have your passport handy during the session. As I said earlier, you must sign electronically during the session. Step 5. Here you do not need to do anything. This step is done by the notary. Once your session is complete, notary will transmit your signed and notarized form 186 directly to ECFMG. You will also receive an email from the notary mentioning that the form has been sent to ECFMG and ECFMG typically process within 3 business days. If you scroll down, here you can see where you have to upload your document. If you further scroll down, here you also need to put your USMLE ID, then check these boxes and click next, and then follow for the instructions. That's how you can submit your form 186. That also means 
you have completed your application for the ECFMD certification. Now if you log in into your account, you will be able to see when ECFMD received the form and the processing status. Once ECFMD completes the process, you can start applying for the USMLE exams. In my next video, I will show the whole process of applying for the USMLE exams and form 183. Till then, stay connected. That's all for today. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share with your friends and turn on the notification bell icon so that you do not miss any of my new videos. This will really encourage me to make more videos like this. I greatly appreciate your feedback. Thank you so much for watching.